Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how do we use the sum function in LibreOffice or any spreadsheet program for that matter. Um, so let's open up a sample spreadsheet I have right here. I've got my sample factor approvals 2012 spreadsheet. If you want to download a copy of the spreadsheet for practice, you can certainly do so. Uh, the link is in the show notes. Um, so here what we have is we've got a bunch of data. We've got all these amounts that were offered. These are all grant amounts that were offered to uh, various applicants. And if we scroll down here, we see, whoa, lots and lots. Let's actually scroll all the way down here. We see there's tons of data here okay uh, 1643 records to be exact I say that because that's not counting the first row um, what if I wanted to find out the total amount of money that was offered in 2012 okay because this data this is all the data for 2012 we've got it all organized here and all the totals are in in this d column here how do i sum this up okay well we're going to use a function to do this there's a couple different ways to do this i'm going to start by showing you the long way so you understand what's going on and then i'll show you a couple shortcuts okay the first thing is um and you can by the way you can actually position your cursor anywhere. I'm just going to position my cursor down here underneath this line um, just because it's it sort of it makes sense. It just looks like we're going to sum up this entire column and I'm going to go ahead and write a function and uh, we've learned about functions for formulas and functions in previous screencasts so maybe this is a bit of a review. Um, I have to start by typing the equal sign to indicate to LibreOffice that hey I'm about to write a function here and the function name is sum right because we want to sum up all of the data above there and all we need to do is inside here the formula is we're going to put a or the syntax is we're going to have open the bracket and then we're going to put the cell number for the very first cell the cell that's at the top of the range and then we're going to put a colon and then we're going to put the cell number at the that is at the very bottom of the range the very end of the range okay so in this case let's just take a quick look up here just as a reminder the very first cell here is d2 okay we can see that right up here d2 and the very last one that we want to include in this range is what do you think this one down here at the very bottom d1000 644 so let's go ahead and type that out so it's going to be d2 and then we have to put a colon in between here and we're going to go d1644 and we're going to close that and that's your function right there there's a little formula okay and the function is basically telling LibreOffice you're just kind of giving you know talking to LibreOffice in a language it can understand you're saying hey LibreOffice sum up all of the numbers that are between d2 and d1644 I'm going to go ahead and hit return and look at that there's the total right there okay we see the the formula is up here okay or the function really this is LibreOffice calls this a function okay so the function is listed up here and the answer which is really what we're interested in is drumroll please 13 million eight hundred sixty eight thousand four hundred and five dollars wow pretty impressive eh so I said I mentioned earlier that that was a long way of doing it that wasn't that hard was it um, let's go ahead I'm gonna delete this oh no there we go okay I'm gonna show you the short way of doing it now do you see this sum button right here the Sigma button if you remember that from math class okay check this out I have positioned my cursor underneath a column of numbers I'm gonna go ahead and click the sum button and look what it did LibreOffice is pretty darn smart it figured out you probably when you click that button you are probably wanting to add up all those numbers above there and he was even smart enough not to try to add in the words amount offered isn't that impressive? Okay, so um, LibreOffice says, "Hey, is this the sum you want?" And it even it even like surrounds it in with this blue blue rectangle just to be sure there. And you say, "Yeah, man, I totally want that." So to accept that, see, I'm hovering over this little arrow button. I'm going to click accept, and there we go. So we saved ourselves the hassle of typing all that out. We could just use the sum function, the sum button right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to delete that and uh, just type it out one more time. Again, sum, and it's not case sensitive. You can do lowercase or uppercase. It doesn't really matter. Remember, D2 colon, and then the very last one you want to add in. There we go. Boom. And now you're an expert at the sum function. How about that? All right. I hope that that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.